Oh, and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Durant is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Aiton in at the five, down low. And for the Mavericks, they've got Reggie Bullock. Don Jidge out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Green in at the three, the small forward. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks, making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. So Dallas will get the first possession. Up top, Doncic, defended by Paul. Irving against Booker. And it's Irving missing. And with the Mavs, a trip doors to the conference finals puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. And it's Doncic missing. And so Aiton will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. And there's the pass to Paul. Durant for three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Well, Kevin Durant is efficient from any spot on the floor. You give him an easy corner three and turn the lights out. Here's Green. Craig pulls it in. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. Dishes to KD. Shoots the three. Another three for Phoenix. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Bucket is good. Craig's got five points so far. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. It's good from the top of the key. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. Doncic against Paul. Makes it off the glass. Oh, are you kidding? Five for five, and they just got started. The Mavericks have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Irving for three. That shot off, and Phoenix will come the other way. Last time they met was in Dallas, where they beat the Mavericks. Yeah, it was a narrow win, but at that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. Oh, no doubt. Playing aggressively, forcing the action, that often works in your favor, and it did the last time around. And coming down the stretch here, Greg, a lot left to decide, especially for teams on the playoff bubble. And, Kevin, the play-in tournaments add another level of complexity. I'll say this. The league now has more teams fighting all the way to the end. Now Aiton following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the foul against Dallas. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep. Putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Yeah, what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Phoenix leading by 14. Ball right side. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Chris Paul. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Luka Doncic. Hey. 
just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. They need this. He takes it up and lays it in. Doncic has got his second bucket. Once he's inside that painted area, you can see the level of aggression from Luka Doncic rise. This guy knows he can score it in there. Mavericks trail by 14. Nobody near Irving. Misses the three. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Pretty pass by Kyrie Irving. Nothing like making your teammate feel good right there. KD with it. Now Green defending. Great tee that time from Green. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about it. in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. So for Phoenix, their last game, a win against Dallas. From deep. And it's Aiton missing. And now the fans break. Doncic with the ball. And the dunk by Powell. How about the ups of Dwight Powell? He's making these lobs look easy. KD looking around. Suns keep it alive. Here's Craig. And it's good off the back rim and in. Craig's got 10 points in the game. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Pass to Doncic. Pass to Bullock. Three-pointer. And it's KD with the rebound. And it's Warren with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. 13-point lead. Shoots over Doncic. Warren, good. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Just four seconds left here in the opening quarter. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team-first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. And so it's Phoenix, sitting with a comfortable lead, up by 14. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And guys, the Suns pretty much in control here. They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. So with Irving on the bench, here's the five for Jason Kidd right now. Christian Wood is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Hardy, and there's JaVale McGee. And it's Holiday in at the two guard. Outside Holiday. Outside Hardaway. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from McGee. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Outside Warren takes a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. Holiday, the pass to Hardy. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. To the inside. 
Tampa goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Hardaway. Phoenix has gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And sometimes in the closing moments, NBA games can slow to a crawl. Of course, you and I know that firsthand. Intentional fouls. Replay reviews. What should the league revise in terms of that? The most important thing they did is take some of the replay reviews and allow Secaucus to deal with it. That speeds up action. The fact of the matter is fouls and free throws at the end of the game are part of strategy. And yes, we need to be quick with replay reviews, but we have to understand this is strategic and important stuff that happens. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. The shot's good from McGee. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Passes it to Lee from 10 feet out. Kicks it out to Paul. The three ball. Drops in the tray. Paul's got five points now in the quarter. Well, Chris Paul is such a hard guard. You've got to contest three because of his ability to drive. Like, what do you do if you're a defender? You are in a problematic situation. Wood can't hit. Suns lean by 17. Warren, the pass to Baisley, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. Now let's check out some stats for Devin Booker. He's been dominant over the last month. Averaging about 27 points per, six assists, and four rebounds. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. Chalk up two there. Woods got his first basket of the night. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Hooker the pass to Baisley. Stolen by Holiday. And Paul over to help. Outside Hardaway from downtown. And it's Baisley with the rebound. I think he's got to settle down. Because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. On the wing, Holiday. Kleba and two free throws coming up unable to get that one to go with all the content T.J. Warren picks one up the Mavericks shooting their first free throws tonight the first trip to the stripe in this one first free throw is good and when you look at Kleber it, for me his makeup leads you to believe that he's the kind of player you can win with G.A. this guy has the frame for it. He stands 6'10", 240 pounds. He's one of the best defenders in the league, and nobody talks about that. The key for me is, does his confidence remain high? Because he can stretch it out to three, and if his confidence doesn't wane, he's a major force. The pass to Pop. 14 feet away, and it's Doncic. That time on the assist by Powell. And it's nine points for Luka Doncic. One fifty-two left in the first half. And Durant gets it to go. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, Kevin Durant working right there on the interior. This guy, if you allow him to touch the paint, he will put it home. And here's Doncic from the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Pulls up on the elbow. Ross, that's good. And the Suns lead by 18. When the mid-range is working for Terrence Ross, he's going to create problems. It's just a matter of can he do it consistently. Dallas moving the ball around. And the dunk by Powell. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Here's Aiton. That shot no good. 
Now Dallas takes it the other way. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, I mean, every time out, it's a learning experience to some degree, but that's not what they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. The feed now to Irving. Pass to Doncic. For Craig. Another shot. Phoenix grabs the miss. Ayton's got four rebounds now tonight. Fires the three. Mavericks with the rebound. On the wing, Green. Payne covering. Pass to Kleba. That's the three fly. A shot. No good. And so it's Phoenix with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. And you have to credit their defense for the job they've been doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, hot start, cool finish. What happened out there? Well, we came out with a lot of energy, but in the second quarter, it died down a little bit. You know, it's real. Everybody's very excited. You know, our team's excited. Their team's excited. Officials excited. You know what I mean? So we just got to calm down and play a little bit. And I'm excited. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And for that game against the Thunder, let's be honest, they're clearly the better team. You can't afford to drop games where you're the heavy favorite. This is a TCB game, taking care of business. Doesn't have to be pretty, just win. And circling back to the game at hand, guys, the deficit is looming large right now for the Dallas Mavericks. And they were gunning a little too much from downtown. Uh, they can't afford to become dependent on that shot. They got to compete the consistent way. I like to see them mix it up more in the second half. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Monty Williams. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Andre Ayton out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Durant in at the three spot. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Irving with the ball. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. Count it. Green's got his first points in this one. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Green deciding where to go with it. Pass to Powell. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. That one on Aiton. Boy, Dwight Powell is such a hard-playing, athletic big man. He could fit himself into any scheme right now. And so he makes both from the line. Endures what you like about Dwight Powell is that he doesn't force anything on offense. Just takes what he has available to him. He is the perfect role player playing alongside his teammate Luka Doncic for this reason. Excellent screen setter, a real threat vertically at the cup. What a target for Luka. 
Back to Irving. But Trey. Trey pulls it in. Phoenix leading by 19. Unloads from nine. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. Booker's got five points now in the quarter. Dallas has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Irving with it. Now guarded by Booker. Donchich outside. And the wide open shot from Green. And that's a foul. Called on Dwight Powell. That is his first foul of the game. On the Mavericks with some changes. Christian Woods checked in for Powell. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Green. Lees checked in for the Suns. Here's Paul. And the layup's good off the glass. Paul's got 13. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Irving passes to Doncic. Back to Irving. The pass to Wood. To halt the run. And finished off by Wood. When Kyrie Irving comes off that pick and roll, he has so much attention on him due to his speed that it results in a lot of easy shots for the guys around him. Doncic finds Irving from outside the arc. Hits it from three-point range. He has five. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Knocks down the three ball. And the Suns lead by 21. Look at Chris Paul getting aggressive. He's not going to let that three go unanswered. He's too competitive for that. Here's Irving. He has five. And Hardaway gets it to go. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And Booker kicks to Lee. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Irving passes to Doncic. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's KD, and the Suns tack on two more. Well, the ability to score without being the primary ball handler, right? Kevin Durant can catch and shoot as well as anybody in the league. Dallas calls timeout. Some changes here for the Mavericks. JaVale McGee comes in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Hardy in for Doncic. And for the Suns, Baisley's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. TJ Warren comes in for Kevin Durant. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Lee. Here's Hardy. He feeds it to Irving. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Irving's got five points now this quarter. What I love about Kyrie Irving is there's no fear on the interior. This guy is looking for ways to score. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found the temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Phoenix has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Pass to Baisley. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. It's on JaVale McGee. As Baisley continues to develop his game, earning opportunities at the free throw line critical. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Phoenix. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. 
I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. For Dallas, they've gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. As to Irving, there's the triple. That shot misses. Now the Suns take it the other way. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Well, T.J. Warren finishes with authority. We'll give you a salute, sir. Here's Irving. Seven points in the game. Uses the glass to finish the way. Irving's got seven points here in this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now, here's Hardy, defended by Paul. Irving for three. That doesn't go in either for Irving. From past the arc, buries the long-range jumper. Beasley's got five. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Irving against Booker. And here is Irving. He's got nine. One second left. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Phoenix Suns leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The Mavericks shooting reasonably well, 45%. So with Irving on the bench, here's the five for Jason Kidd right now. JaVale McGee is out there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Hardy, and it's Pinson in at the three. Out left to the wing, here's Landale. And the Suns tack on two more. Now here is Holiday. Isn't it great? The NBA is becoming a global product. More games are scheduled overseas. Doris, any locations you'd like to go to call a game? Maybe you and I could do a game in the Bahamas. How does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Kevin. If they're tipping it up, I'd love to be there. And think about it. Beyond the travel and the opportunity to see the world, the opportunity to expose new fans to this game that we love so much, certainly not something to take lightly. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's McGee, and he banks in the layup. McGee's got four points this quarter. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Payne dishes to Ross. A three-pointer off the mark. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Holiday, no one around him. Landale grabs the miss. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. Here's Hardy. Outside Holiday. This one for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Lee outside. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. And Holiday has it in the corner. McGee trying to break free. Dallas again missing. 
Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. Payne can't hit. Mavericks have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Hardy. Fires the three. Kept alive. It's good on the putback. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Lee outside. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. McGee's got seven rebounds in the game. Pinson passes to McGee. An easy two points on the layup. McGee's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, he's done his part. No doubt about it. Still yet to miss in the game. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. And it's in there. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. McGee a screen. Pinson passes to McGee. Again, the Mavericks score. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Ross for three. Rebounded by McGee. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out front. They get it back. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Payne, and it's Phoenix scoring again. The Mavericks have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Pinson, that's good. Pinson's got his first two points of the night. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Bangs home the trifecta. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Ross kicks to Payne. Another three for Phoenix. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Dallas making a switch here. Irving's checked in, and Phoenix also making a switch. Warren's checked in. Outside Irving. Over Ross. Dallas again missing. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Suns. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Chris Paul. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Some changes for Phoenix. Paul's checked in for Lee. Booker comes in for Ross. And Durant subbed in for Cameron Payne. The three from KD. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Connects from three-point range. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And the slam dunk by McGee. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. The GA strong work all around. And the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. 
the always aware Chris Paul, one of the great passers in history. There's another assist. Kicks it to McGee. On the wing, Irving. Now, Kleba, and so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.